Hey guys, Mitch here from the Audio Dabbler YouTube channel, and I'm going to do a back to basic kind of series on just some apps that are just essential to pretty much all of iOS music making. And so the first one I'm going to look at is Audio Share. Now it's, you know, it's a basic kind of file library and you can also record straight into it. And so down at the bottom here you got this microphone and you can monitor what you're recording. You can add in different instruments if you want to record and so say I have an idea. Soft drummer. And so let's throw soft drummer in here. Monitor is on. Let's bring it up. Okay. So if you just want to record some some drums in, now it's recording, so it's pretty simple. Kind of like the crash fade a little bit. So we can go back in, and so there's the there's the file we just recorded. Now you get you can do some things. You got tools up here. You can normalize it. You know, just kind of maximize everything to the highest peak. You can trim and fade. So if you just click on the trim and fade, you can just move this around. And so you kind of want to get that break. If you click and hold, you can kind of do a little better zooming. You know, and so you can loop it. And so there's just a little loop button right here that I that I checked and it made a little X in it and that way you can kind of see where you're looping. You can, you know, do some nudging, nudge the start if you want to, a little a little bigger, go in a little bit smaller. And things like that um, you can make it snap to the beat if you want it to as you're editing things like that and once you're done you can save it and it'll save a copy as normalized trimmed now the first one called it soft drummer because that's the program you were using and then when you normalized it it will just make a copy of it and so that's one thing to be aware of if you're limited on space when you start working with some of the stuff it'll when you normalize it it'll save a new copy when you trim it, it'll save an even newer copy. But that's good because it's not destructive in a way that, oh man, I messed up and now I have to uh, go back and re-record that. And so once you have that, you know, you have that loop and say you just wanted that kind of break, uh, break in there, so then you can, you can throw it to SoundCloud or you can email it. I don't have an email client on here because um, I don't use this for that. Um, but you can email it to someone. You can general pasteboard copy it or you can audio but audio copy three and then you can just the general share which you can save it to iCloud Drive, save it to Dropbox or you can import it to any number of apps that support this um, particular file type that's got the audio share all, all that stuff integrated in with it and so say you want to import it into Reslice and so what that'll do is that'll just open up Reslice and there you have it and then you can play with your heart's content with that app go back in into audio share what else can you do um, you can see the little icon down here. That means it's still close, still um, armed, which meaning which means the uh, soft drummer is still in there. But taking a look at the recorder, you also have some settings. You can change it to wave. All these different formats that you can 
choose to record from, stereo or mono, you can do a bit depth or a sample rate based on, and I think that's pretty much going to be based on your interface. I have iConnect Audio 4 Plus, and so it will do 32-bit 96K. You can choose to normalize it on record, and you can choose to open recording when finished. And then you have some hardware settings, which you can physically come in here and set the sample rate to, if you don't want to record at 44K, you can record at whatever hardware supports. And then the buffer size, um, less latency calls may call stuttering. And so if you're having to record in something like a guitar, and you're trying to monitor and hear it, then you can um, up or down the buffer to so it's not as latent whenever you're recording, but just know that if depending on your device, it may cause some stuttering. Um, and you can also add in effects. And so I have the soft drummer in, but if I want to record that with, say, some crystalline, I can do that. Now that sounded kind of weird, but you know, if you're into that kind of thing, you can do that. I may see what I can do with that. That's kind of cool. Um, but you can add up to four, up up to four effects if you want to. And if you know you decide, ah, uh, let's do something else, or you can just process. You can do a file player, and you can choose a file, and it's gonna be it's gonna be based on whatever you have selected here. So I got sampler right. Well, let's don't do that one. Let's do the sector. Maybe not that. Let's see. And so it's going to be whatever the whatever you choose. So whatever you selected over here. Okay, and then you can just click the plus sign. You can do a main in. Your hardware in. That you want to record. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much takes care of the recorder. Okay, so now if you want to paste something in so you have something so apparently I have a general pasteboard item that's one megabyte so I don't know what that is so that's been in there for a couple days because I haven't played with workbench in a while and I know that's from workbench and then or you can do audio from retro nims and then it will act as a Wi-Fi drive and so you don't have to plug your computer into your um, using iTunes you can just turn this on and what that'll do is this, that will create a um, a Wi-Fi drive that you can go to you know this particular IP address or whatever and you can browse and share and things while audio share is running in the foreground you can access all the files and transfer things back and forth over your Wi-Fi so that's nice and then you can import sounds from your Dropbox music library or document picker picker which is the new thing of course this is not running iOS 11 and so I don't have the the new fangled whatever it is with the the more integrated document sharing thing so I can't go I can't say anything about that whether or not it works but this will give you access to your basically your document picker basically your iP your iCloud but then from there you can do Dropbox or um, audio share which you're already in audio share so that would be kind of pointless but the other apps that are out there if you see document picker on there for an option to click something to import if you click on your locations you usually was gonna are gonna see audio share and that's gonna pull up your audio share location all of your files inside of audio share because it's got the document picker integrated now another thing you can do as you can see I don't is 
um, put your stuff in folders which would probably be nice for me um, you know if I did that it will zip and unzip files I don't know if I have any zip files here to show but it will unzip and unzip and so if you have a bunch of samples you can zip them together on your computer throw them on your Dropbox or your document or your uh, iCloud or whatever or use your Wi-Fi drive import them in one big swoop you can click on it in here and I don't think I actually have one to show you but it, it will unzip the file and to a folder and stuff and you can also use this these two uh, different presets and things that here here actually I have one right here there you go zip do you want to extract it yes so it's extracting it and I think it probably extracted it up here maybe it just extracted it I'm not for sure I think if it had a folder in it it would extract the folders but if not it probably just extracted it to I think that was the the hack attack umbrella rain so that's where it extracted it from and that's uh, Jacob Hack's uh, Umbrella Zoom Rain recording. And so, yeah. Um, if you do delete something, it does have a trash item. And then they will, ever so often, you can just go in there and delete things if you want. Like that one's been here for 408 days. If you just want to delete the trash, you can simply by highlighting it and deleting it that way. If you want to delete a file over here, slide it, just slide the file. Or you can click this little edit button, select a couple, and then you have a trash. You have um, an option to move items. You have, you can import them to Dropbox, or you can copy files if you so choose. You can select all folders, both or none which kind of helps if you're in a folder and you want to select everything and do something to it you can do that other than that we have let's see there's another tool here convert and so if you have a file and it's at a certain format you can convert it to a different format with different bit rates or mono you can mono source left and right and so if you had a, if you recorded a stereo file um, or a stereo track that's got one instrument on one side and one instrument on the other side you can go in here and you can convert that if you want to just do wave to wave you can do that you go mono and then you can only have it extract the left side or you could only have it extract the right side so that would be nice if you're doing something like that um, I guess that's that's it if you do have AUM along with audio share AUM works accesses directly because they're under the same developer and so they can access directly the files and so AUM's recordings are actually used uh, I can get back up there are actually stored inside of audio share and so that is very nice if you have AUM and you do that kind of stuff so overall I mean audio share is definitely one of those apps that you just to me, it's essential to making music on iOS because it just makes it so easy with the Wi-Fi drive to, you know, import files in or with Dropbox, import files in. And once they're in here, then you can pretty much put them anywhere. You can convert them different places. You can arrange them and just have nice, neat library of your sounds. And it has a nice way to sample in a source and a couple effects that you want to do and you can just you know kind of use this as a zoom as your you know a little zoom recorder or something if you had you know a small little portable mic so yeah thanks for watching hopefully this helps hopefully this sheds some light if you were confused about audio share or if you're new just getting into iOS music making this is definitely a no-brainer as far as purchasing because you will it'll kind of become the central hub 
that you'll just use, you know, on a daily basis, just importing files and then moving them around and things like that. So I do have a Patreon if you're into that kind of thing, or I also have a direct PayPal me link if you want to just do a one-off donation to help support the channel, that's okay. And also, if you're not into that kind of stuff, you can just like, comment, and share my videos on your favorite social media site, and I will talk to you guys later.